My story is the story of a man who starts off at the bottom and with a bit of hard work continues along the bottom and finally ends up at the bottom. Hey, this is Classic Cars and Comics. Thank y'all very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's roll. So we were at Lowe's picking up some stuff for some projects that my parents needed done. I needed to change out a light switch, needed to change out a bulb system for a ceiling fan, and then also a whole ceiling fan. So I was like, I should get me a little tool just to make things easier. This is what I walked out of there with. And it was awesome. All right. I'm going to try this, try this out. Wow. That worked pretty dang easy. So this is the black wire in the bottom. White's in the bottom, red's on the top. Heck, that one's already loose as a goose. This one loose as a goose too. Here in live might have some been some of the problem with why it wasn't why it wasn't working. It's got a little bit of torque to it, more than what I thought it would. That's surprising. Ah, come on in. And we're out. So, so far, Works pretty good, and it's even got lights on there. That's a handy little add-on there. So my dad just informed me that you gotta use like a type of screw or a screwdriver to be able to get in there to release that. Yep, that's exactly it. Dad, I got it. And just in case you were wondering, yes, I did turn off the power to this. So uh, I had the lights on and flipped breakers until I found the right one, and so, there's no hot wires running right now, but even though I ain't gonna take no chances and touch two at the same time, but there should be no hot wire running right now. Time to wire this one in. Okay, so I didn't realize that this just, you insert the deal and then you just tighten this down. This doesn't come all the way out. That's my fault. Good. I believe white went on the bottom and red on the top. But I'm gonna check my video, make sure. So before we button all this back up, I'm gonna flip the uh, breaker back on and then we'll know if it's gonna work or not. Hey, at least the light works. So now I'm gonna use my old new old handy dandy tool to hopefully put these screws in there. For the most part, this screwdriver had enough power to either tighten or loosen the screws, but there was a couple times I had to sort of manually use it to tighten or loosen just a little bit the screws. Whoa, I like this little tool so far. Just enough power to get little things done and you're not having to worry about stripping out screws or anything else. So the ceiling fan in my parents' house has not worked for quite some time, or at least the light hasn't. So he bought what he thought was going to be a good replacement for that. And I'm just showing here that I'm unscrewing it. That little tool worked fine. But that little adapter kit did not end up working. And I just did some wiring and, and used part of the wiring and everything from that to get this light back up and running. So I'm happy I got that fixed and I did everything I needed to do as far as loosening and tightening screws with that tool. It's worked beautifully. This was the second thing I worked on. Okay, so I fixed one ceiling fan so far with this. I fixed a light switch. 
And now I'm gonna try to take this fan down with this little tool and see if it works for that. I don't work for Craftsman. I don't work for Lowe's, but man, I've enjoyed this so far. So the new fan that was purchased is the same make as the old fan. Now the fan still worked, but the lights didn't. I'm gonna use only the Craftsman screwdriver to replace it. Okay, so white is going to white. That's a cream. Green to green for the ground. And black and blue go into black. Black and blue go into black. I pretty much do this no matter if I'm working on a vehicle, working on something around the house. If I'm messing with wiring, I'm calling it out on video if I'm recording it or I'm taking photos even if I'm not because I want to know how to rewire whatever it is I took apart. Little helpful tip. I'm gonna get down here and take off these fan blades. So the reason that I'm showing y'all this is a, I sort of needed to take them off to be able to get it out the door, but I just wanted to show you how much I've really used this little screwdriver in the process of just doing things around the house. I also plan on using this whenever we're hanging some cabinet doors in our trailer. Um, I like buying tools that I'm going to use more than once or twice, you know, buy something that will hopefully last. I've had good luck out of Craftsman. Some of y'all may hate it, um, but Craftsman's been a really good brand for me, even you know prior to Lowe's buying them out. So, um, I really enjoyed the screwdrivers thus far. One charge on this, on the way home, and this is how it get us work. When you're doing this, don't be an idiot. Make sure you put this in first. It's a handy little piece of information for you. Then you don't gotta go back in there and duplicate work. And still going strong. Reason number 73 on why I really like this little screwdriver is see how much room I still have above the blades to the ceiling. With the standard drill, 
I might not be able to have that much room to operate or wouldn't be able to do that. So I like that this one's, you know, has some, some portability and you have some flexibility as far as if you need more room or if you don't have enough room, I should say, you get that with this. All right. Fan is installed. So I believe I purchased this somewhere in the neighborhood of like 25 bucks. I think it was 15% off at my local store. Um, it come with a few different pieces as well. I believe it come with five Phillips, uh, four flathead. There were some Torx bits. I believe I have it coming up here on my little video on what all it comes with. It's like 18 different pieces as well as, and including a, a bit adapter as well. So come with quite a few little pieces to be able to, I mean, I had everything I needed to complete the jobs that I needed to get completed. And I was really impressed with this, especially for the cost. And it's something I plan on throwing in our travel trailer and keeping on us just in case we need it. Now I'm by no means saying that this is going to replace your standard power drill, but this is a handy little tool for doing things around the house. Mm -hmm. 